Hey guys, welcome back and thank you for being here. You're going to love this today. Look at these QR codes. You can try to scan them, go ahead. They are art, they are scannable, they are so useful. And I'm gonna tell you why. This is one of the best utilities that we can get out of making our art. Besides being really fun and very cool, you as a person or as a business can have those printed as stickers. You can put them everywhere. People will be so intrigued by this wonderful looking QR code. They're going to want to scan it just because it looks so cool. And that's going to take them to your pages. You can see how this can become an invaluable tool for a business. This is the future of QR codes. This is it. We have it right here and we're first. Marketing is everything in today's business and every company is going to want to leverage this in their advantage. So if you own a company or you work at one, you can leverage that in your advantage and suggest to them or create them and they'll thank you. Companies will be all over this in the very near future and you and I are going to make it happen. The first thing we want to do is get ourselves a QR code and you could do that on any QR website. I just typed it in Google. I got a random one called qr.io and that's where we went. Once on qr.io, we submit the link that we want to whatever, the website, your Twitter link, anything, your Instagram, and then you're going to submit it. It's gonna create a QR code for that link. We download that as PNG and we're gonna use that as our picture for control net. Now, before we start, we're gonna need two models. One of them is under control net V11. I'm gonna leave everything in the description as usual. You go in here and we're gonna search for a model called tile. This is it right here. You're going to have to download that 1.45 gigabyte file. Then we're gonna to go to another website and here you're going to have to download the brightness one, which is this one right here, okay? Once we've downloaded those two, we put them in the control net model folder, which is under extensions. And once that's done, we can proceed. Now, before we start, keep in mind, you can do this with any model. All models will give you completely different results. Some of them will give you wonderful results for one type of picture. Others will give you different results for other types of pictures. Obviously I can't try the hundreds of models there are. You're gonna have to do that yourself. I'm going to try with one or two models here just to give you an idea how to build this and then you can take it from there. First things first, we're going to load our QR code into control net under control net zero and under control net one, because we're going to use both. You can use only one. It's going to give you different kinds of results. I might show you this in a minute, but first let's start with this one. Once you've loaded your QR code, you're going to enable, make sure you enable both. Sometimes I forget to, but fortunately it, it lights up when it's controlled, so it's good. Now, in the preprocessor, the first control net, control net zero, as a preprocessor, we're gonna put in paint global harmonious, and as a model, we're going to pick brightness. Then we're going to put control net weight at around 0 0.35. We're gonna leave the rest as is. In the next control net, we're gonna choose in paint global harmonious as well. But in here this time, we're gonna pick the tile that we downloaded. Now for the control weights, we're going to pick 0 0.5 for this one. Starting control step, we're gonna start at 0 0.35. And for the ending control step, we're gonna put 0 0.7. Now these are things you can play around with depending on the results you're gonna get. Sometimes you'll get much better results, but they're not getting scanned too easily by your phone. Other times you'll get very easily scannable pictures, but the pictures are not exactly like you want them. So you're going to have to play with these as you go. Now these also affect the image differently depending on what model you have used. Therefore, I would suggest whenever you change a model from the one we're using, which is Rev Animated, that you try to mess around with these until you get your preferred results. The next thing is we're going to use either Euler A or uh, DPM Keras plus plus two M Keras. For the sampling steps, I chose 22. And then we start with the prompt. Now, as far as the negative prompt goes, you're gonna affect that as you go, as you see things that it's giving you that you didn't ask for, as far as the prompt goes, which is this one, and that's it. Then you can go for a few batches and see what you get. Let's say four batches. And here are the results that we got. Already at first sight, they look really interesting. Let's take a look at this first one, this little girl holding this envelope. Let's try to scan it. And as you can see here, it has worked like a charm. 
they're all scannable this one's also interesting you could potentially fix the eyes if the eyes are not the way you want them here she's a bit cross-eyed so you could fix that so they're all scannable and they look super cool wouldn't you say the control weight again you can play with it you can try to go a bit lower but if you go too low you won't be able to scan the code anymore now this is one of the pictures we get for ancient village is it scannable try it yourself heck yeah it is here's right. some other ones we got for for ancient village scanned perfectly scanned perfectly scanned perfectly this one almost does not look like a qr code yet it scans perfectly now something as simple as mechabot masterpiece war will give us this these results here which are wonderful in my opinion also all scannable and here's a lot of the other results we got you're obviously going to have to try multiple times sometimes i always recommend putting batches of four or if you can handle it, 8, 10, 12, or more, and you'll find that the large majority is working, and there you're going to get great results, and then you can save a certain style, and then continue applying it, or you can use the seed of one of the results you got, and continue using that seed, which we haven't done here, because we were trying to test different things. It's really, really big, in my opinion. It seems like a small thing, but it changes a lot. I urge you to go out there and create some of these for fun, but also as a potential business, because every business out there is going to be interested to have customizable, epic QR codes for all kinds of businesses and all kinds of events that they're doing, be it like ticketing for, for a certain event, be it like on a bag of chips because they have some kind of promotion running, any kind of business for any kind of reason. You could have a business card with just that QR code, right? A really cool piece of art. But then when somebody scans it with the phone, they get all the information. So many things you can do with this. It's really one of the coolest, but also most useful utilities that I've seen so far for AI art. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this as much as I have. If you did, do like and subscribe. And I will see you super soon with a lot more coming. Ta-ta!